giant pizza skulls and smack them a gob. I got a, another suck versus suck from Wade. Uh, Wade, you succeeded again, my friend, uh, with another suck versus suck. But you know what? I got to give a disclaimer here. For all of you that like my suck versus suck um, because you think I do these little witty anecdotes and stuff, and I see your comments, and I appreciate your your laughter to my suffering, but... Man, I, I'm going to warn you now, there's no witty shit here. There's no funny stuff here. I couldn't think of any funny things. Maybe it's because I'm starting to get burnt out because so many people are just asking me to do suck versus suck that, eh, man, I, I think the witty uh, well is tapped dry. You know, maybe maybe I'll, I'll be witty again in, in, in later ones. Um, but, man, I mean, I've had too many lately. And I was trying. I really was trying. But, it, I, you know, one thing I know about, you know, the way I work things, when I try, I suck. And when I don't try, I don't suck. When it comes naturally, you know, I'll come up with Woody stuff. I actually was trying. And it was starting to upset me. I was like, fuck, man. I can't think of nothing funny. Where before, I wasn't even thinking. I would just listen to a song and, like, you know, the... The, the witty thoughts would just come in my brain. Nothing came into my brain with witty stuff here. So let's get this started. It's Dangerous Toys against Holly Weird from Poison. And I was like, oh, this is going to be hilarious. It wasn't. I mean, there's a couple funny songs from Poison where they're not trying to be funny. And then there's a, there's a song or two where they're trying to be funny. And it didn't work. But my little history on Dangerous Toys... I saw them. I saw them live. Uh, if you remember back in the day, there was a tour. It was Alice Cooper. I think it was called Operation Rock and Roll. Alice Cooper, Judas Priest, Motorhead, Metal Church, and Dangerous Toys, right? When it came to Florida, they cut the bill in half. Well, almost in half. Where Alice Cooper and, and Judas Priest played up North Florida. And down here, we got Motorhead headlining. Uh, Metal Church and Dangerous Toys. And I remember a buddy of mine was telling me, oh, you got to check out Dangerous Toys. They're fucking great. And I was like, ah, you know, I saw that video. I can't even remember the song, man. Even listening to these songs, I was like, what was the video that I remember seeing back then? I don't remember. But I didn't like the video. Then I saw them. I went in early, you know, and I saw them. I wasn't planning on it. It was a buddy of mine told me to do it. Because back then I was a drinker and I used to drink Jack Daniels outside. I remember when Extreme opened for David Lee Roth. I stayed outside and countless bands. Um, uh, I, I can't remember. I know there was countless bands that I would go to an arena and they would open. Oh, Bon Jovi. Because I saw Bon Jovi open for the Scorpions. Then the next time they came, they opened for Rat. I saw the Scorpions one, but for the rap one, I said, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not sitting through that bullshit again. And I did, uh, but I didn't do that for Dangerous Toys because uh, my friend, who I haven't seen in a long time, and I'm fine with that. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, it was kind of fucking shitty watching this Dangerous Toys band. It was like, oh man, this shit sucks. So here we go. The first song is called Teasing and Pleasing. This song... Uh, the, the chorus annoys me to no end. And I said, the, the rest of the song is, uh, it's all right. I mean, it wasn't that bad, but it was, it's not my fucking type of music. I know it's rock and roll and rocking and stuff, but it's just, yeah. And that's going against Holly Weird. Um, this song is not good at all, but it's not offensive to me. I'm going to give it to that Holly Weird song, even though it wasn't funny. But I, I think overall, I mean, it sucks less. All right? Next one is called Scared. Uh, this song, it's not bad, but that chorus sucks so hard. That, that chorus made me scared. It was bad. And that's going against Squeezebox. Horrible cover. This was on Poison. I remember that. Suck versus Suck I did before. Um, this is just bad uh, at every angle. I'm giving that one to uh, Dangerous Toys. All right, next one's called uh, 
Bones in the gutter. It does nothing for me. I couldn't think of anything witty. It had to come naturally. Nothing came naturally. Uh, going against Shooting Star. Oh, boy, this is amateur hour. But then again, it's poison. Uh, I'm giving that to, to Dangerous Toys. Uh, Take Me Drunk is the next song. Uh, they must have been drunk to write this bullshit. And going against Wishful Thinking. Is this song about them uh, wishful thinking that they can write a damn song? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it to... Um, it, you know, there is a part. What's that part in the song? It says, the, the, it, it, there is a little comedy in it. It says, Brett goes, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. It was pretty funny. But I'm still going to give it to Dangerous Toys. Even comedy couldn't help this one. Uh, I'll give it over that shitty drunk song. Feels Like a Hammer is the next one. And this one, it's okay. Actually, this one I can't bash. I don't think it's bad. I think it's the best song on here. It's not a bad tune. It's all right. And that one's going against Get Ya Some. Um, I can bash this one. It, it, it's funny. It is funny, but like wishful thinking, even comedy couldn't help it because, you know, feels like a hammer. I don't think it's a bad song. Next one's called Sporting a Woody. Uh, don't like it. Um, but I have heard far worse. Like <laughs> Emperor's New Clothes. This one is not funny at all. It's depressing. You know, it's like Eddie Murphy. He was funny. And now he's not funny anymore. That, that, that's how poison is. Poison is the equivalent of Eddie Murphy. All right, what's next? Um, Queen of the Nile. This shit does nothing for me. This is like pedestrian rock. And what's that going against? Devil Woman. Now this is comedy with the harmonica and, uh, and that weak-ass chorus. It's kind of, you know, Devil Woman. And she's an evil woman, blah, blah. It made me chuckle. And uh, I got to tell you, man, I'm going to give it to this Poison song, really for the harmonica alone. Every time I hear a harmonica in Poison songs, it always makes me laugh. All right, next is called Outlaw. Uh, it's hard to bash this, even if I think it sucks, is what I wrote here. Vocals do annoy me. And that's going against... Wasteland, uh, not funny at all. It's actually upsetting. Uh, Dangerous Toys gets that. Here Comes Trouble. Uh, this is upsetting me too. This fucking sucks. Uh, going against Living In Now. Uh, this one kind of reminds me of that Wild Hearts uh, Suck vs. Suck I put up before. That, that pop punk bullshit. Fucking terrible, man. I'm going to give that to uh, Dangerous Toys. Next song is called Ten Boots. Uh, man, do I really earn my money sitting through this shit. It's like I'm just waiting for... I I'm hoping for this shit to suck. To, to, not, not suck. It does suck. Waiting for this shit to end. Um, and that's going against Stupid, Stoned, and Drunk. You know, this may be the first Poison song where they're actually trying to be funny. Don't do that. Be, you know, be your like, you know, oh, let's have fun and yow, 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 you know, your little sound effects. Don't try to be funny. It's fucking terrible. Um, uh, I'm, I'm giving it to Dangerous Toys. All right, next one, which is technically the last one, but there is still a, an extra track with the poison thing. But uh, the last song is called that dog. Now, I really like this song because it's the last song. It sucks, but it makes me happy to know I'm done with fucking Dangerous Toys. And that one's going against Home. Holy crap, is this bad. This is actually Poison trying to be the Ramones. I shit you not. Um, it loses. Now, there is an extra track on the Poison one called Rockstar. 
and I put it on for about 30 seconds. And then I said, why am I listening to this? This is not going against a dangerous toy song. What the fuck? And I turned it off immediately. I mean, 30 seconds was enough. So in the end, Dangerous Toys got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and Hollywood, Holly Weird got two, which, or maybe it was more. I don't know. I don't give a fuck. Do the math yourself, man. This was really upsetting. To tell you the truth, I was in a good mood before I had to take notes. I was like, oh, this is going to be fun. I mean, I, I didn't know about Dangerous Toys much. I knew that shit sucked, but I thought Poison was going to be fun, and they've really disappointed me. You know, and, and I have seen some poison fans say well, Holly Weird is horrible. And but, you know, they're poison fans. I'm not a poison fan, but I don't think those poison fans are into the, you know, laughing at them instead of with them like I am. And yes, I am aware that the singer of Dangerous Toys was in a band called Watchtower, which was kind of thrashy and technical. I didn't like that either. I did check it out. I checked it out now. You know, I, but I, I've heard, you know, I actually, you know, did a little re research. I go, wasn't this singer in like a thrash band? And it was Watchtower. I watched like three videos and, I mean, musically, I thought it was a little better than, than uh, Dangerous Toys, but they went to this technical shit, thrash. And then that guy's voice does nothing for me. But Wade, I may be bitching a lot, buddy, and you may have ruined my day. <laughs> but I still love you, brother, and thank you so much for the donation. And if you like to donate... I got a PayPal in the description below. And please subscribe to my channel if you have not. Right on, everybody. Stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath. And smack them a gobba. Bang, bang, pizza skulls.